Hey, did you guys hear? There's a Legend of Korra game, and it doesn't suck. And it's actually made by a professional development team. It's Platinum Games. But it's only downloadable, so I can't get physical copies. Hello, Commander. So cruel. So The Legend of Korra was a game I bought out of pure curiosity. First, I love Avatar, and no, not this, or this, more like this and this. But before I delve into anything, this game expects you to have seen the first half of the television series The Legend of Korra, so watch that unless you just don't care and you just want to fling fire and giant rocks at people. So yeah, I bought this game full price, I think at the price of $15, mostly just because I was so fascinated with its own existence. Also, it has its own self-contained story, complete with a new villain, and I think most of all, most interesting, it's a downloadable game featuring The Legend of Korra made by Platinum Games. Now, if you're not familiar with Platinum, they're most known for their high-budget action games from Japan, Bayonetta and Metal Gear Solid Revenge and Siyap, however you pronounce that, being the most notable currently. And I just had a weird visual of Korra fighting uh, Bayonetta fights, you know, with her hair and the nakedness and, the, and don't, don't, don't judge me. Okay, Korra is Bay. Oh yeah, we were talking about a video game. So yeah, the Legend of Korra. I guess the only question you could have left for the game is, is it any good? And let's just say it's kind of a mixed bag. On one hand, it's a pretty fun beat-em-up. The combat is fun, usually. You actually have to relearn a lot of your bending, and that takes a while, not to mention the difficulty is all over the place. But what I found most annoying was some of the bosses weren't really challenging, they were just time consuming. Not to mention I split my attack power to get more money, so it took especially long to kill one boss. And sometimes they'd kill me and I'd have to start all over and it was very frustrating. But in the end, you're the avatar. There's no way just flinging around enemies and shooting fire and water and all this other shit. There's no way, like, I can't see them messing it up that badly that I'm not gonna have fun doing that. In the end, the combat is above average, if not good. I, I enjoyed it. As for the story, well, it's bleh, 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 bleh. Okay, here's what goes down. There's this creepy dude, and he does this laugh thing a lot. <laughs> and he's boring, like worse than Unalak boring. Okay, guys, I think we finally ditched him. Haha, ha, very funny. I'm still on the line. So, about that evil plan to destroy Nuk Tuk? Hello? Anyone there? And you know, he's a bad guy, he's gonna do bad guy things, and he's just kind of a jumbled character, and ultimately beyond him, the story doesn't really go anywhere. Not to mention my fave character, Tenzin, doesn't even show up. Tenzin, where are you at? Oh, yeah, fuck you. Ah, I'm sorry, JK Simmons. Okay, you got bigger stuff going on. It's okay, just, I, I wanted to see Tenzin. But let's talk about what I like. I like just jumping into the world of Avatar because I love the series and I just like getting more of it. I like just going in the menus and just hearing the music and like changing my gear. And Iroh, he runs a shop. How fucking amazing is that? Okay, now I just really want Iroh to be like, what are you buying? But he'll say like all wise and Iroh like, he'll be like, what are you buying, child? What are you buying? Also, I like the time they took creating the pro-bending minigame. On a scale of 1 to Quidditch, I think this marks pretty high in my fake sports category. So if I could sum it up, I would say The Legend of Korra, it's above average. Sure, talent is behind it, but I don't see the time, effort, or most importantly, the care. And it shows, but I would like to say Korra or Platinum fans, it's worth a quick playthrough. Nonetheless, everyone else might just want to ignore it. And with that, I will give Legend of Korra a very balanced score of 6 out of 10. With all that being said, please check out today's featured channel. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Janora is Jesus. And with that, I leave you.
another spoilery chop chop chop. Uh, today we're discussing The Legend of Korra, which I finished later today. I wrote my script. Fucking doing this now. I'm on a roll. Um, Legend of Korra, uh, made by Platinum Games. We're known for Bayonetta, Metal Gear Right, and Revenge Against. However you pronounce it, and uh, I'm shooting my car again. 